everything. All right, gents, we are back in Code Academy doing CSS fundamentals from the Learn HTML CSS Part One, basic CSS structure and syntax. Last time we basically learned how to link our CSS file. This time uh, we're gonna be doing some stuff. So there's a whole mess of styling going on here, and this is our HTML. This is interesting. So there used to be a build web projects, and they've been incorporating them into this section. That's kind of like a prequel, I guess. So if we want to style, so you typically you'll use classes or IDs for styling, but if you know that you want to style an entire entire element, you can do that as well, such as just typing the element. We're not putting a style in here quite yet, but if we were, it would target all our H1s. So, how do we set properties and everything like that? We have our selector, which is in this case our H1. We have an opening bracket and a closing bracket. That's basically where our code starts for the styling for that element and the code ends. Anything outside of there is not going to affect it. Now we have our property, which in this example here is font size, and then we have the value. So we are targeting this for our H1 selector, and we're setting it to here, and then we put a semicolon to end that. That's how we do this. That's how we do. <laughs> that's how we do the CSS. That's how we do it. I don't know. What's up? Uh, there's a song. You guys know what song I'm talking. Anyhow, um, so here we're gonna go ahead and change the color to fire brick. It's going to run that so you'll see right there we have this nice red now we want to go ahead and reset the font size here by default some of these things may be already there like for instance your anchor tag may already be blue if you you were resetting the default values for some of these some are we're adding these values so we're gonna go ahead and see right there we've now reset this to a more reasonable size Oh, excuse me, this was supposed to be for paragraphs. So, we want to target our paragraphs. Just going to put a line in between. We're going to put font size 18px. There we go. So, this is a little bit bigger now. All our paragraphs have ki kindly been updated. Now, <coughs> you can actually combine... Use one selector to change the color of the heading and paragraph to dark slate gray. <clears throat> so, what we want to do here is when you put a comma, you're actually saying, look, for H1s and paragraphs, set the color to something. You know, apply this styling to both these elements. Let's go ahead and put dark slate gray. And you'll see right now, is now inherited the coloring for both. Why? I, f I forget that this is kind of buggy, so let's go ahead and do that one more time. What's going on here? Alright, run that. There we go. But that's what's going on there. Commas will separate elements that you can set style for all of them. So then we have the universal selector just the asterisk basically select all and what you can do here typically if you're using this you'll want it to be your first item so we'll do font dash family and we're gonna go ahead and set it to Georgia it's gonna run this now all our font has changed Oh my goodness. Oh, let's, we'll go next. All right. Just like how they want our HTML ran, you want to kind of follow the standard spacing. You'll notice that all these are on separate lines. They're not one big line thing. You typically want to put a space in between each of these like so. 
you really need to make your CSS and all your code in general very readable and follow kind of the standard convention. Indentation. So you'll see, notice that these are indented because this is nested within the paragraph brackets here. Nice. So comments are slightly different. Um, and the way that you comment in CSS is you do slash star and then star slash. You'll notice that you can do this on multiple lines or one line or anything like that. So we'll just put this it. This is a comment. Got to run that. Oops. Slash star star slash comment. There we go. So just keep in mind that they're slightly different. So this is pretty quick. Um, but what we basically learn is proper structure. We learn that you need to indent when necessary. We learned how to do comments. We also learn how to set the properties and all those as well in our CSS styling. Um, definitely get comfortable with all this and uh, try and keep everything together and just do your best with it. Um, there's a ton of stuff in CSS that I don't know and I've been using it for years so it's definitely something that uh, you just need to get comfortable with the basics because there's a ton of more advanced stuff to come with this. But uh, as always guys thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you know anybody that would enjoy the video or needs needs help with this course. And a special thanks to you supporting me on Patreon. I appreciate it a ton. And uh, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsor, Dev Mountain. Definitely check them out at devmountain.com. If you're looking for a boot camp that's in front-end development, iOS, or UX, go ahead and give them a shot. Tuition includes housing, so you can get up and go and fully immerse yourself in the program. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.